So quickly, uh, let's uh, touch base on painting, how, painting how aggregation designer. We're seeing the architecture, what is its role. So as we've seen in star schema, we'll have fact table connected with multiple dimensional, uh, multiple dimension tables. Just try to visualize at the center, it is fact table and on its periphery, uh, the four corners, we had four dimensions. So star table, uh, fact table is connected with four different dimensions. Now in practical, uh, not necessary that you, uh, the uh, scenario is uh, so easy. You may have to play with uh, multiple aggregations because the data requirement um, is uh, in such a way that you, you want to see hierarchical data. For example, region can be uh, split at uh, two levels. Well, uh, first uh, level is high level, uh, north, east, south, west. Then in north, you can have multiple regions based on a particular uh, territory. So how will you uh, aggregate, pre-aggregate? If you have data aggregated at high level, then you, you need to pre-aggregate, uh, you need to go to one level deeper and have territory as another level. So instead of you aggregating at runtime, even at high level and even at uh, territory level, what you can do is at territory level, you can pre-aggregate the data. So when you want to aggregate the data at regional level, top region level, then territory level data is already pre-aggregated and that needs to be aggregated at one level up. And when it is two level aggregations, it is always advisable that you can pre-aggregate the data of one level so that at second level, the aggregation can uh, work fast. And you, if you'll see that uh, second point, an example of where 10 million records or cubes uh, with high cardinality of levels so, and numbers, where, wherever it is more than 10 millions. So at runtime, obviously, if it is 10 millions, if you will do group by, it is going to take time because aggregation, again, it will in memory pull the data in and then it will sort it, it will do aggregation um, calculations and will make that uh, aggregated uh, results ready. So doing that aggregation uh, calculations in the uh, database, assuming that we, we are using, working on uh, replica, still it is time consuming job not only time consuming, resource consuming as well because so much uh, churning is happening inside the memory, CPU is also utilized. So it is time consuming, uh, resource consuming job. You can do it uh, in your off-peak off hours. Basically when you don't want to use the system, you can have that job running and it will pre-aggregate the data. So that is one use, uh, use case. I believe you are, you are aware of uh, cardinality because you all are from data background. So uh, these, these issues are uh, exactly addressed by aggregation designer and it runs on top of modern schema which will help you uh, pre-aggregate the data. It simplifies creation and deployment of aggregation tables and in fact once you design uh, that aggregation from uh, aggregation designer. It, it does the job. You don't need to do uh, go to back end and ex execute anything. In uh, On top of that, it has intelligent uh, advisor as well. So you just feed the uh, table design uh, to aggregation designer and it will suggest you, okay, why don't you pre-aggregate these particular columns? So that type of uh, advice also is uh, available that can be given by its advisor. So this is one example of uh, aggregation designer which will also uh, make you acquainted with the layout. So this is uh, file then there you can configure connections, advisor is there, you can seek advice from advisor, you can export the schema uh, from this uh, designer, whatever you have done. So here you can see name is uh, steel wheel. Again, steel wheel is a 
data which uh, Pentaho is providing along with its distribution. Then these are facts, quarters, order fact, type and the aggregation level. So like market is aggregated at territory. Then customer and products are at default. Then time is aggregated at quarters. So at quarters it will pre-aggregate and you don't need to uh, do it at runtime. It also tells you how many number of rows it has pre-aggregated. So that, that will help you uh, analyze the gear or gauge the impact. Then it tells you how many selected aggregates are there and approximate this space which is consumed because obviously if you are adding aggregates it is going to consume the disk space. So this, this is analyzer tool which helps you designing your Mondrian cube in a best optimal uh, fashion. 